Hello, and welcome back to the Interpac Academy. I'm Teresa Hippis with the Interpac Commercial Marketing Team. In this third and final video of the three-part series on how to select the proper high-pressure industrial hose, we will look at some criteria to use when selecting your hose size. There are many different hose lengths, diameters, and coupler options to consider when selecting an industrial high-pressure hose. Selecting the proper hose can be challenging, but will improve the hydraulic performance. In this last video, we will walk you through considerations when selecting hose dimensions. To correctly specify an industrial high-pressure hose, we need to look at the system to guide us at the best hose selection. The selection process starts with the hose inside diameter, or ID. For most industrial high-pressure hoses, there are only two choices, a quarter inch and three-eighths of an inch, or 6.4 and 9.7 millimeter respectively. The inside diameter of the hose will determine how easily the oil flows through the hose. The larger the diameter, the easier the oil will flow. For low flow systems powered by hand pumps, small air pumps, and power pumps under one horsepower or 0.75 kilowatts, a good rule of thumb is a hose with quarter inch ID or 6.4 millimeter for hose lengths of 20 feet or 6.1 meters or less. For larger power pumps or 3 eighths of an inch or 9.7 millimeter ID is usually the best choice. If a long hose run is needed, such as over 20 feet or 6.1 meters, the cylinder or tool is single acting. A hose with a larger 3 eighths of an inch or 9.7 millimeter inside diameter is a better solution. In these longer hose systems, a larger inside diameter will improve the retract performance of the single acting tool. As the oil can flow back to the reservoir faster and easier, during the retract cycle. Another way to improve the retract performance of a single acting cylinder or tool in power pump systems is to not run the pump during the retract cycle. If possible, this allows the return oil from the tool to flow easily to the reservoir. When longer hose lengths are necessary, it is advantageous to create a longer hose by coupling two or three shorter hose lengths together. A sample of this would be to build a 100 foot or 30 meter hose by assembling two 50 feet or 15 meter hoses together with a connector fitting. If this hose gets damaged in any way, the damaged section can be replaced instead of losing the entire hose, reducing overall costs. Lastly, the hose end fittings must be selected. This will depend greatly on the use required portability, and potential storage requirements. For many benchtop systems, the hose may be plumbed directly into the pumps or gauge on one end with a quick coupler to attach to a cylinder or tool on the opposite end. Once the hose is pre-filled, if it is not removed from the pump or gauge, it will not need to be refilled. For systems that will need to be disassembled often, it is best to have a quick coupler on both hose ends. This will allow quick and easy disassembly and will also prevent oil from leaking out of the hose. This also reduces leakage during storage and eliminates having to refill the hose for reassembly. Finally, with this dual coupler assembly, the pump, cylinder, or tool, and hose can easily be placed into a tote box or other storage space. I hope you found this video on host selection options useful. For further information, please visit us at interpec.com or reach out to your nearest Interpec contact for further assistance. I'm Teresa Hippus, and for the Interpec Academy, thank you for watching.